Welcome to Temperance River State Park. This will be a three-part series looking at first the upper campground, the lower campground. Finally, we'll take a walk and show you some of the trails accessible from this state park. As you enter the upper campground, you'll be greeted by the ranger station where you'll find tools to fix your bike. If you don't have a bike with you, you might not need these tools. You can check into your campground. You can get firewood. It's five, no, six dollars a bundle. It is a fairly decent ripoff, but it only can be DNR approved firewood. We've got a sign here indicating the campground is full, but it doesn't say full of what. Let's take a look at the shower house. Newly built for 2020, we have a shower and bath house. Depending on if you identify as the female gender, you may access here. We also have shower restrooms. I'll give you a quick idea what they look like on the inside. Over on the side, we just have showers. Here's doors are open. Let me give you an idea of what you'll be getting. Looks like they all have the corded shower head. Lastly, if you're opposed to going to the bathroom indoors, they do have outside opportunities. Let's look at some campsites. The upper campground has paved roads throughout. Let's highlight a few of the campsites. Here we have site six. We've got a nice flat area to park. Beautiful views of the beach below. As you progress forward from the parking area, we have a place to uh, pitch your tent, if you know what I mean. And a fire pit. Actually, really don't see anywhere to uh, put a tent here. It's kind of an odd sight, but I guess I'd stay here for the views. What else makes Site 6 unique is they do have a bench where you can watch the majesty of Lake Superior. This center section is where the old bath and shower house once was before relocating. Throughout the upper campground, you do have nice byways to transect the park as you go for a walk. Site 25, I believe this one would be in high demand. Currently it's vacant, so let's take a look. Again, you're presented with a nice level parking area. Looks like 30 amp power. Picnic table, fire ring, an area for a tent. Quite a bit of privacy, magical views of the lake. Site 26, occupied, probably the best site for views of the lake, as you see how their lawn chairs are situated.
We'll move forward, take a look at Site 29. Gives you a good view of what the inner loop sites look like. Again, tremendous privacy, well wooded. Some sites do have electric, some are without. Again, fire ring and table. Flat spot for parking. And your electrical needs will be greeted with 30 amp and I think it's called 110 or something like that, 120, I don't know. Oops, that was loud. We'll take a gander at another occupied site. Site 28, home of the vans. Sir, do you mind if we look at your campsite? Not at all. Again, Site 28, picturesque views, firing, electric. Let's go look at the walk-in sites, shall we? Here's another nice campsite, Site 5. Nice pad for the tent. and amazing lake views. The walk-in sites have opportunities for fresh water. Looks like genderless outdoor toileting. Carts. We have a gentle path that leads you to the walk-in sites. It appears one of them is occupied. Well, the first site's actually not that far of a walk. What a nice day. Little bit of breeze, probably upper 50s. Nice fire pit, table, spot for a tent. I won't go any further, so I don't want to interrupt camping activities by others. But I was there yesterday and they actually have better views than this from the campsite. Upon further inspection, walk-in site 32 is vacant. Let's take a gander. Absolutely breathtaking. Waking up to this outside of your tent must be absolutely incredible. This will conclude the Temperance River upper campground videos. Um, let's head down to the lower campground and see what it has to offer.